Valdemar Santo has joined hundreds of protesters outside New York City Hall calling for an overhaul and budget cuts to one of the largest police departments in the United States. A long time ago, a police officer shot two times one of my brothers. And since that time, I don't like them. The New York City Police Department has an estimated budget of more than $6 billion. Protesters want at least $1 billion of those dollars to be diverted to social services and instead of the police. New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio. That we will be moving funding from the NYPD to youth initiatives and social services. The details will be worked out in the budget process in the weeks ahead. Some officers within the force warn if there are too many budget cuts, the city may see an increase in crime, particularly murders, which are already on the rise in New York. But City Councilman Richie Torres from the 15th District in the Bronx tells VOA the goal of defunding police isn't to make people less safe, but to create an environment where the police aren't the only line of defense. There is a consensus for dramatically reducing the budget of the NYPD. You know, we have to disabuse ourselves of the notion that the police, that calling 911 is the answer to every problem. The cuts could mean the plan to hire more than 1,100 new police officers will be postponed and school safety officers could be removed. Even if they do the budget cuts and things are the same, those in power keep it. Nothing is going to change. Things will continue as they are. If their demands are not met, protesters say they will stay at City Hall and continue their demonstrations. Celia Mendoza, VOA News, New York.